of YouTube. Mine's life here, and we're back on day 24 on getting the love you want. And tonight, what are we talking about? What are we talking about today on day 24? Yes, those sparks, those moments. Oh, the sparks, huh? Yeah. Hey, when the sparks fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that love power. Love power. That's what it's about. That's what we're talking about. I want the love. You know you need the love. You know we want the love. You know I want the love. You know we need the love. You know I got the love. Man, can you feel the love? Can you feel the love? You know I give you love. You know we give it love. You know we need your love. You know I love your love. You know I need your love. You know I need your love. We you be giving love. Can you feel the love? You know we need about love power. So the scenario was brought to our attention of that couple in the restaurant mm -hmm. that looks so uninterested in each other. They both look at their phones. They're just quiet. <laughs> They're looking at their phones. Nobody's talking. There's no conversation. It's just stagnant energy. You're right. Nobody's paying nobody any attention. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. and, and, that, and that's big, you know, because think about the first date and then think about this date. Mm -hmm. The first date, everybody's kind of looking at each other in the eyes. You kind of mm -hmm. want to know what they, you know, what, 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 who are you? You know, who am I speaking with across the table? Like, you know, I want, I want to get to know you. I want to understand you. Who are you? Yeah. Compared to this day, now I know you. We got bills. We got kids. Now I wish I never met you. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like, man, what is, what is going on? How do the we get here? The newness is going off. How do we yeah. get here? Yeah. You know, you know, it was like, okay, so did you get the love you want, and then something happened? Did you not put in time and effort with each other? Like, what happened? Because uh -huh. you remember, we're talking about getting the love you want. So if you're on a date and if you're there, then you have the potential. To get the love you want. Right. So what is going on? You know, what what's the issue? What what is the blockage on getting that love you want? Think how how distracting that is if you're in a restaurant and you see that. Like the party <laughs> next to you is Can't just help but look. like, whoa, look at them. Because mm -hmm. you, you know, you're just kinda of checking things out and it's just like, oh, man, you know, you kind of feel awkward, uncomfortable. But the biggest thing is you know, pay attention to your own self. Don't worry about what others are doing. You know, right. those kind of things. But if you're in that situation, if you are that couple, if you're that couple sitting across from each other, what do you do? How do you feel? Like, man, I'm stressed right now. Do you feel upset or do you feel unheard? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of us have been in relationships like this to where we've kind of like the, the passion has fizzled out. You know, so we're like, well, you know, what do you do to regain it? Or do you want to try to get away from this person altogether? Like, what do you do to fix it? How do you fix it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how do you overcome this then? Mm -hmm. mm, the There's a question. If you mm -hmm. feel like that flame has kind of fizzled out, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know, one way is start trying to come up with new ways to, to identify with that person. You know, try to find new fun things to do. Also, look and take notice of what that person liked to do and then do some of those things, you know, communicate better. You know, maybe start off with saying, you know what, I'm not going to look at my phone during dinner. Let's talk. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or maybe if it's something that they've always been asking you to do, maybe you go do those things, you uh -huh. know, and just kind of break the ice a little bit. Because what it is, it takes you to take the initiative to say, you know what, I'm going to break the cycle. You yes, know, you can't you wait on someone break else to break cycle. the cycle. And I want to take it outside of just intimate relationships. Mm -hmm. So just think about, okay, the job, the job that, you know, you just bored going in there. Like, you're like, whatever, maybe in six months, I'll be somewhere else anyway. So I'm going to do the bare minimum right. and da, 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 just because the newness is worn off. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have a few incidents where you've been treated poorly. So you've kind of detached yourself in some ways. And now you're just not even there. You're just going through the motions, going through the motions of that routine. Mm -hmm. You know, or think about maybe like you've gained weight and you're just kind of stuck at that weight. And you're like, man, I just I'm stuck here. I don't know if I'll ever move to my target weight because I just can't keep get the weight off. You know, that's stagnant energy. Right. So you got to try to find new ways to kind of re. You got to add some energy back into this thing. You got to right. restart this thing. You got to find that gotta, spark again. You got to find that spark. Yeah. You got to be the phoenix coming out of that fire, you know. You have to say, you know, no, I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let this beat me. I'm gonna continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what's gonna bring joy and fulfillment in your life when you have some accomplishment. You know, and and one of the first ways to kind of jar you into this is to think back. 
think back to when that spark was there mm-hmm. and talk about it. Mm-hmm. It's simple in that way yeah. to get the ball rolling. Feel that emotion. And then also think about the person that you were when you had that spark. Mm-hmm. What kind of person were you? Are you a different person now? You know, Were you more fun-loving now? Did you have less bills or more less responsibilities? Like what happened in your life that changed? And they start reevaluating those Yeah. Things. A lot of times in relationships, we get hyper-focused on our partner and on the relationship itself, mm-hmm. where we kind of lose sight to those things that used to make us happy before. Right. If it were things like, you know, getting that haircut over there at that barbershop that you like to go to. Mm-hmm. Now you don't even go there because you're so caught up into this routine that you both created that you've kind of lost sight of mm-hmm. those things that make you feel good. So it may need a little more adjustment so you can have that self-care, that self-love you need that will re-energize that spark. It's important. It's important to to do things that make you feel like you again, Mm -hmm. you know, so you feel that love, so you feel that life. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. Because we're here for love by love. Yeah. You know, we're created by love for love. You know, so we have to continue to give that love out and feel that love. Have joy. We should have joy right now. We should all be in joy right now, just knowing that we're on, we're alive. Mm-hmm. You know, we're able to make a difference. We're able to, to be strong. We're able to breathe air. Mm-hmm. You know? We're able to feel love. We're able to give love and receive love. Mm-hmm. That's why we're here. I'm getting the love you want. You know what? Let's let's share something with the audience. Yes. Our first date. First date. All right. So, yeah. I when I went to go pick up my wife. She, unfortunately, didn't know what I drove or anything like that. So she was very, very cautious. My wife is from New York, and I'm from Mississippi, but we met in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So she was very, very cautious. So she stayed in the city. So she didn't want to tell me what building she stayed in. And so so when when I went to go pick her up, I was in the car, and I was riding, and I saw her walking on the sidewalk. But I'm, when I met her, she had a uniform on, and I did not know what what she actually looked like as far as her body was. I knew exactly what her face and her smile looked like, mm-hmm. but I had no idea what her body type was because she was standing behind the counter as well, you know, and she had a uniform on, so I had no idea. I'm riding, and I wrote on my wound, and I, and I yelled out to her, and I was just like, hey, Hello. And at this time, I had a black Mercedes. Not that, you know, cars matter, but uh, this is what kind of car I had. So, so I, I figured when she looked and she saw me, she didn't just think that I was some wild, crazy guy trying to, you know, grab in the car. <laughs> you know, so I saw her face. When she turned and looked at me, that's when I saw it was her. So she gets in the car. We start driving. Mm-hmm. I took her completely out of the city because I knew nothing about the city. Nothing about the city because I lived in how the long, suburbs of Chicago. How long you lived um, in the suburbs at that time? I lived in the suburbs of Chicago for about so about two years. Two years. See, and he didn't know much about the inner workings of Chicago. Of Chicago, yeah, because <laughs> I only went in the city a few times. Yeah, you know, a few times. So I took her all the way out to a movie theater that I was familiar to in, in the suburbs, and we were flying to get there. Right. So when we got there. Found out that the the new Tyler Perry movie was actually playing. Why did I get married? Why did I get married? Was that <laughs> movie that was playing? So when we saw that the Tyler Perry movie was playing, we changed our mind on the movie that we were going to see, and then we changed it to the Tyler Perry movie. So then we ended up having a little time to kill. Mm-hmm. So it was like, all right, great. So let's go get some food or get some ice cream or something. Just start, let's just talk and kind of sit down before the movie starts. Mm-hmm. So I'm driving. I see a Dairy Queen, which normally, you know, it's a little later, you know, it's a little later. So normally I wouldn't take a woman to Dairy Queen on my first date, but spur the moment thing, boom, we're, we're in the moment. We're going to this Dairy Queen. Now, in the car, I was thinking this would be beautiful. You know, we'll sit and talk, maybe share, you know, ice cream or something, you know, so I'm going to get to know her. I want to understand, you know, trying to understand her and, you know, we go in there into this Dairy Queen and it looked like. A bomb exploded in this dead queen. Like they had a food fight in there. Like they had a food It looked like food. They had, I mean, cones and paper and stuff was everywhere. It looked like they had a bus of kids coming there. And they <laughs> gave free ice cream out. And they threw it everywhere. That's what it like. So, so I, what was running through my mind is, should I stay? Should we stay? Should we go? So we both tried to ignore that this was a huge mess. Even the girl at the counter was like, I'm so sorry. 
what had this uh, we just had a big rush. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, it's okay. All right. We go and we watch the movie. But when we watched the movie, and that's why did I get married? We talked. We had a great time as far as before the movie. While we were in the movie, we both were just sitting at the edge of our seats watching everything. And at the end, we talked more. Mm -hmm. And I felt so close like I already knew her, like I knew her my whole life. I can't speak for her, so I'm going to let her talk. Yes, I was very comfortable. So it wasn't like any fear. It was very free. I felt like myself in that moment. And we had a great time. So just know things are not going to be just like you planned them on the date. You know, we just kind of did a spur of the moment thing. You know, we we got food afterwards and, and things like that. But you just kind of go spur of the moment. You en you enjoy each other's company. Get we out of the routine. Stay out of the routine. <laughs> we still laugh about that to this day now. now but when we think about that Dairy Queen. Now think about that. That could have been a real horror, a horrific <laughs> experience the way we ran out of there but no we laughed about it you know and we still laugh about it to this day that's why we had to tell y'all about it mm -hmm. you know so we want y'all to get the love you want have those conversations mm -hmm. about that first day or the first time you went to the gym and really had a good workout talk about those things mm -hmm. talk about that first date you had with your partner that really kind of brought you two together it's important it's important to, to relive that you know, to, to bring those things up and, and just have a laugh, you know. And maybe, and what was it? You know, talk about it, you know. There's power in that. There's power. It is power in it. And understanding what brought you two together. Because mm -hmm. right? if you don't have that spark of love now, the routine. Mm -hmm. You got to get out of the routine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we love you. We want you to get the love you want on day 24. Mm -hmm. Day 24. Get the love you want. Get the love you want. We it's want you time. to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you know I always say, what are you doing? But you've got to subscribe. It's time. Mm -hmm. Also comment. We want to know, what do you think on getting the love you want? Mm -hmm. You know, what was your first date? Maybe you have a funny first date story that you can kind of tell us about. That. You can tell us about that. We would love to hear. You know, and just know that we love you. And we want you to get the love that you want. It's time. It's time. Yes. We love you. Myers Life. Myers Life. <laughs> Have you ever seen a couple sitting in a restaurant, looking bored to tears, waiting for their food to arrive, reaching for something to talk about it? You can tell just by watching them that they are not happy. People, in routine, humdrum routines fail to recognize the transformative potential of their relationships and lives. They resign themselves to the status quo. They haven't a clue that a committed relationship, with all its tension and struggles, if managed properly, can be the incubator of powerful forces of love. Just as fire can melt and merge two substances, filtering out impurities, so too can the fires of the power struggle, ultimately transform and drive connection, capable of impact even on the world beyond the doors of your home. The love created by a healed relationship as a force of nature, a force for good in the world that becomes more powerful with each transformed relationship. Can you envision a world that harnessed the energy of countless loving people? A world in which there were no miserable couples polluting the air in restaurants. Recall a situation in which you and another experienced the power of your love for each other. Perhaps there was a time when one of you nurtured the other through a serious illness. Harness that event, imprinted in your mind, by sharing your memory with your partner or significant relationship. Together, commit to finding a way to recreate the powerful love in the near future. Today I contemplate those areas however few they may be at the moment if real love between myself and others. They are simmering coals, glowing, however faintly, beneath a damped fire. But they have the potential to ignite and expand until they become a powerful force for transformation, first within my own heart and home, and then spreading out to warm the world. You know I want the love, you know you need the love, you know we want the love, you know I want the love, you know we need the love, you know I got the love, man can you feel the love, can you feel the love, you know I give you love, you know we give giving love, you know we need your love. Ma's life. Ma's life. 
Yeah, check out the new merch. Get your family dripped up and draped out in the new merch. Ha, ah, yeah. That drip is here. That drip is here. That drip is here. That drip is here. The source, the source, the drip is here. The sun is so short, man, this drip is here. We got the leggings for the lady drip. It's here, we got the leggings for the lady drip. It's here, the sun of sore shirts. The drip is here, the sun of sore shirts. The drip is here. Sauce's brain shirts, man, that shirt is so tight. Man, that shirt is so tight. Don't mess up my vibe, don't mess up my vibe. That shirt is so live, man, don't mess up my vibe. You can see the vibrations on the front. You can raise your, raise your vibrations on the front. You ain't got a pair of body, you can get some socks, you can get some socks, you can get some socks. The drip is so live, the drip is so live, don't mess up my vibe, don't mess up my vibe. My's life, my's life, the drip is so vibe, the drip is so live, the drip is so live. Don't mess up my vibe, man, that shirt is so live. The sun is so shirt, the sun is so shirt, man, that shirt is so live, man, that shirt is so live. Don't mess up my vibe, don't mess up my vibe. The merch is here, the merch is here, my's life, my's life, man, that merch is here, man, get your shirt, shirt, get your shirt, 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 get your shirt, 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 get your shirt, 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 man, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, get some socks, get some socks, you can get a dog shirt, you can get your dog shirt, you can get your dog shirt, that mess up my vibe, man, that shirt is so live, don't mess up my vibe, that shirt is so live, son. Son of sauce, son of sauce, son of son of sauce, son of sudden sauce, son of sudden sauce, the source healing center shirt. Mind, body, and soul, mind, body, and soul. Let your family get draped up in the drape. Let your family get drip, drip in the drape. Hey, the shirt is so live. Don't mess up my vibes, my life, my life. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. The merch, merch is here. Hey.